Welcome to Real Sense, and today I have a portable power station made by Gopher. It is a small little unit with 200 watts of power, but I was surprised with some of its capabilities and its price. Let's check it out. All right, so let's begin with the unboxing. As you can see, it's a pretty small box. The brand is called Gofert. And full disclosure, I did not buy this unit. It was sent over by Gofert, so they asked me if I can do a review, and I said yes, and that was it. This is not a paid sponsorship, so, so this review is solely on my experience with the positives and the negatives. All right, so getting that out of the way, the first thing you see is the owner's manual. It's in English, it has some basic instructions, and in the manual, the model number for this unit is the A201, and it has other specs, which I'll explain later. Alright, so the next thing is this black box, which contains all the cables. You can see it has the DC charging cable, the carport cable, and an adapter, which I'll show you later how to use with solar charging. Alright, so now let's take the unit out of the box. And it comes between these two foam padding, so it is very well protected for shipping. All right, so here's the unit itself. It is very compact and tiny. I was actually surprised it was gonna be this small. All right, so again, here's the unit, the owner's manual, the two cables, and the wall charger. So let me get these out of the way and show you the unit. All right, so on the top left, we have the AC on and off button. On the left side, we have the two AC outputs. We have one with three prongs and the other with two prongs. In the front, we have the two USB A's, a type C with fast charging and a DC output. On the top right, we have the power on and off switch and the DC on and off switch. All right, so on the right side, we have a ventilation for the fan and on the bottom of that, we have the DC input. On the back side of the unit, we have a super bright LED light. I love it. And on the bottom of that, we have the on and off switch for the LED light. And again, on the side with the AC ports, we have more ventilation for airflow. On the top, we have the handle and it clicks throughout so you can adjust it to your liking and it's actually very comfortable. The unit itself is only 3.75 pounds, so you can carry this all day. On the bottom, there are some rubber paddings and this will keep the unit from sliding and we will hold it in place more easily. All right, so I don't wanna bore you guys with too many specs, so let's run them down really quick. And here are all the specs, but I'm gonna mention the most important ones. So the battery capacity is 172.8 watt hours. The AC output is 200 watts with a peak of 400 watts. The type C output is 18 watts. This is a lithium ion battery, so it has a charge cycle of 800 times. And the charging time of the unit is around six hours. The price is $129, but if you use the coupon down below in the description, you can save 20%. And that's a decent deal because I'm gonna show you now what this thing can do. So as I mentioned before, you can charge it through solar. And here's a 100 watt solar panel. And you can see that I connected the DC adapter that it came with, and you can connect it to the DC input and it's gonna charge in about six hours with good sunlight. And as you can see, the battery indicator is flashing, which means it's charging. All right, so here is a unique use case for this portable power station. As you can see, the battery is at 46% and I'm gonna hold and press the AC button to turn on the AC port. And so I'm gonna try to see if it can turn on the Traeger grill. And now I'm gonna connect the Traeger grill to the unit. And now that it's connected, I'm gonna turn on the Traeger grill. And you can see that the screen turns on. I'm gonna set the temperature to around 185, which is the typical smoking temperature. And I'm gonna hit the Ignite button to start the grill. Right, so as you can see, in about five minutes, the grill started smoking, so it's turning on. You can see the temperature rising on the grill display. So yes, it can turn on the grill. Once the grill is fully heated to the set temperature, it actually takes barely any energy to keep it on. But as you can see on the battery display, we have 20% battery left and we started off with 46. So it does take a big hit on that initial ignition 
but once the grill reaches your desired temperature and you start off with the full battery, I estimate that you can use this for about 30 to 40 minutes, which is enough time to cook a small meal. All right, so now that the battery is pretty much depleted, I'm gonna put it to charge. And once you plug it in, you can see again that the, that the percent indicator starts flashing and that represents a charging state. So now that the unit is charging, I wanna test if it does pass through charging. And turning on the DC, you can see that the USB turns on. So yes, it does pass through charging through the DC plugs, which are the USB and the DC. Now I wanna test if it does the same with the AC output. And as you can see, it flashed and it didn't turn on. So no, it doesn't do pass through charging through the AC ports. And that's something I wish that it had. All right, so five hours later, it charged completely to 100% and as you can see the batteries connected to the USB plug are still charging but obviously it's much slower than the regular wall connection. Alright so now let's test out the light because this is actually one of my favorite features. Alright so I'm turning on the backyard light for reference and now this is the Gophers light and it has a wide casting area and a very bright LED. So this light is super useful for camping or emergency when the power goes out and with the handle is super easy to carry. So using it as a spotlight on any situation is going to be great. All right, so here are the settings. The first mode is the low mode. The second mode is the high mode. The third mode is the SOS and the final mode is the techno club. All right, so here it is again indoors. The lights were completely off at night and you can see it lights up the entire room and you can even read with this light. So, so yeah, it's super useful and I really like it. All right, so for the final test, I wanna see how many items I can plug in and see if they all work together. All right, so you can see the power brick has power and is charging, you can see it flashing. All right, so I have these two camera batteries connected and you can see them both flashing. And the last thing is my cell phone. And this is through the USB-C and you can see it's fast charging. Okay, so while the USB items are being charged, I'm gonna turn on the AC port and see if that charges the laptop. And as you can see, yes. So this little portable power station is gonna be great for camping or a day at the beach or a picnic or even remote work. You can take this with your laptop and work anywhere. Okay, so for some final thoughts, I wanna start off with the cons. The display is hard to see outdoors. There is no pass-through charging on the AC outputs. And while you have AC turned on, the fans are always on, so that can get a little annoying. Now jumping onto the pros, the price point is really good, so it's a great value, especially with the Kuba. The LED light is super bright and it's gonna be useful. It can charge multiple items at the same time using the AC and the DC outputs. The 400 watt peak output is a pleasant surprise for such a small portable power station. And the handles are super nice because you can adjust them and it makes the device easy to carry and easy to store. All right, so I hope you liked this video. Let me know down below what you think about the Gopher A201. And if you have one, share with us your experience and let us know what you liked about it.